the days when a man was like a lion in the jungle. You struggle looking for school fees, and now you have to worry about picking your kid from school? Visions are like dreams. They're just dreams with no basis in reality. One woman, you're happy. Two, you're tired. Three, they will hate each other. And four, four. This is a business. I welcome tens of people. Do you expect me to introduce each and everyone to my ex-boyfriend? Ex-boyfriend? You cannot be a moon and really get jealous of the stars. When I was young, I used to fight for the middle part of the bed. Yet we just on it. Remember, you said you never want to see me hurt. Look, I'm hurt. There is someone for everyone in this world. The only woman who knows where his man sleeps every night is a widow. can never forgive. Forgiveness is the attribute for the strong. And I've seen a strong character in you. Please. Baby, mm -hmm. you need to understand initiation ceremony is very necessary. No, dear. Those things are satanic. They are evil. We can just take our son to the church, get baptized, and that's all. That is where we go wrong. Everything African being certain can evil. I also go for church baptism, and that is why I call the name Bobby. But this is also important. I can't see its importance. This is just an action of beginning something. But this is a modern world. Oh, that is wastage of time. It's not a wastage of time. It's important. Okay. Teach me, Jaja. There are five common African initiation rites. Birth, adulthood, marriage, eldership and ancestorship. All we need right now is a rite of birth. It is really overdue. Rite of birth? But it's too long since Gift was born. Have you been wondering why he doesn't have a name? Because Gift is never a name. It is the elders who name a kid. After consultation of the diviners, perform all the rites, and now they give him a special name. He's given a name that carries hidden and obvious meaning. And these are the rites follow. But you are taking us back to the stone edge. Let me ask you a question. Why do we perform marriage rites? Isn't that double standard? Hmm? Did you keep his umbrical cord? Umbrical cord? For what? It's what they're going to use to perform the rite. I'm not sure whether I kept it or not. But I'll try to look for it. Please. Okay. Have a nice day. Same to you. Your packages. Sister, you said it was urgent. What is bothering you? My sister. There is something haunting me. Haunting you? I've lived with it for so long. But it seems to be exploding. What's bothering you, Robin? Okay. What? That's the fact. When I was at your college in Tungage. Yeah, madam. 
mugeni mwezi. Oya garachi. Saa kugamba ntino we bani na bageni bange saga la kusa za mwoboze banyumia. Bansonyi wenyako. Mama zebanga chingori yako. Made na katuka. Kakati nyabon vile. Ano nyorugambo nyiri. Genda! Nukaga gati nga tika udi. Robin. Oyo siya kufumbile mbili. Yo yo maidi wange. Mainze saga kwe manyeza wakozi. Nego msimu nori gojo okufa kumundu wa mulala na siyegu. O mkozi guwa mena na ye 24. Akufumbile mbili asolo kuwa utuwa. Asolo kuloga. Asolo kukulabu lichibicho nacho nacho wali olideko. Gwendo salawa muteke. Lwa chito sembeza mtu guwa mena na ye no. Neba na ye robina. Ok 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 ok. Nchitege de. Mbitege de. Mbitege de bali. Now that you know, my kind request is keep that to yourself. Never ever open your mouth. Uchigambile nyo uchizikile. Nchizikile? Just make sure that it doesn't sprout from where it was buried. My mouth. Man, I bet he first went home to cook for his wife. Guys, don't talk like that. I cook for my wife because I love cooking. So it's true you've been all along cooking? Do you really have to ask? It is obvious. Guys, there is nothing wrong for a man to cook. And this is a dot-com Ella. Okay, can you refuse to eat because your wife bought the food? And why should I allow my wife to buy food in my house? Then... It shouldn't be my house. It has to be our house. Actually, days are coming when women are going to be owning the homes. Gone are the days when a man was like a lion in a jungle. I'll never accept that in my life. You don't need to accept, but to move by the wind. You're gonna be like those leaves on trees. They have no choice but to, to move by the wind direction. Actually, you're gonna laugh about this one, but I had to delay because I had to pick my son from school. You see, that is exactly what you're talking about. Why didn't your wife go and pick him? You struggle looking for school fees, and now you have to worry about picking your kid from school? Because she was busy with housework for your information. Much as I'm busy this side, she's also busy with the kid and housework. How much would I be spending on that? Come on, Bobby. Maids are paid less than $20 a month. How much would I pay someone to give me a child? Yes. I thought so. Hmm. Okay. Uh, where do we start from? Where, where, where? 25th. 25th. Mm. Meditating again? How many times do I have to tell you this is not meditation? Each time I close my eyes, I see things. You may see visions. Does that differ from meditating? Hmm? Sister, each time you focus your mind for a period of time, that's meditation. Oh. Let me say my sister has a gift of seeing the future. You can say whatever you want. But you know what, sister? This evening, I saw tears rolling into your eyes. <gasps> tears, my foot. Sister, visions are like dreams. They're just dreams with no basis in reality. Sister, I have seen dreams come true. <sighs> Those are just unrealistic fantasies. Anyway, did you prepare some food? You go to the kitchen. But sister, it's high time you consider my vision serious. Remember the last one I told you? Did it happen? I consider this as a gift, which can help both of us. Whatever. That was just a coincidence.
back, honey. Thank you. Gift. Sleeping. Let me look at him. Please don't. Don't. Honey. Yeah, it took me almost two hours to put him to sleep. So you may end up waking him up. Please, you will see him in the morning. Allow me a minute to look at him. I can't sleep without looking at him. And by the time I go in the morning, he's going to be sleeping. Okay. But if you wake him up, you will have to deal with me. Okay. Deal. There is something I want to tell you. It's about gift. Gift? Is he sick? Not sick. But I know you won't like it. You're making me nervous. What? about it but I can't hold it anymore Needs someone to play with. <laughs> you scared me to death. But we talked about this. And we said we need to space our kids. And besides, he's not ready to share our love with anyone else. But honey, what if something happened? Something? Yeah. Death? You never know. Uh, are you dying? No. Of course you're not dying. We're still here. Okay. Okay, I'll give it a thought. Sure. Let me see you smile. <laughs> Should I show you something? Come back late. You don't have to pass by Jonas. It has been long since I last visited. Noreen! Okay, I know you've heard what I just said. Have a nice day. Going to Jonas' place wouldn't be a good idea. Too bad you don't believe in my visions. Poor little sis, she's going to have a long, long day. Mm. Honey, why are you leaving without having breakfast? Maybe I'm late for work. I have a meeting in the evening, so I have to get on the road. Madam, a change of shield. It's 
something before you leave. You don't have to yell at her like that. Hey, she's just a maid. You don't have to raise your voice because of her. A maid? She's human like us. Some blood color. We need her much as she needs us. So please treat her with respect. But we can replace her in a snap of a finger. So she must be very careful with her duties. With this universal primary education? You mean UPE? There you go. It's very easy to find a cardiologist than to find a maid. So please handle her with care. Then that means we shall employ a graduate. Since they are all over the streets searching for jobs. Mm -hmm. They can make good wives after that what? misery. They can make good wives after that misery. What did you just say? Good wives. What? I'm joking. I'm joking. Be careful with your jokes. Anyway, baby, I have to go. Please, I'm so sorry, but you're the woman I love. Shut the hell up, Jonah. Shut up! And how could you? Jonah, you're a beast. It's not what you think, my love. Yes. It's not what I think. It's what I saw. Jonah, this is the second time I'm getting you cheating on me with two different women. Baby, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me, it will never happen again. Now I understand. Men are dogs. You guys can stick it in whatever I will let you. Actually, baby, if it, if it makes you feel better, she wasn't that good. Peggy? Peggy? What? Why don't you understand? Don't come near me. Honey, it's not a crime for a man to have two women in our carriage life. Jenna, one woman, you're happy. Two, you're tired. Three, they'll hate each other. And four, four, they'll hate you. Good for souls. Nay, now we. Come on, Andy. Good day. What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on, Andy. Juliet. 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 Sibirunji. Tuali bizibu mukama wange. Mbade wanu nendoza kuna kujena ina mchalo. Nenda mbade wanu wembera. 
Mas eu tenho que ajudar com o Nyong'o, cara. Juliet, tu acaba. Como é que eu vou te olhar com a ideia de ti? Ok? E eu me vi gabi na vida outro não ele me quer mais. Madame Walu. Ali me nyomba. Baby, I'm back. Can see that. I'll come back. Thank you. Uh, why is Julia doing sad? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. And gift? He's okay. So it happened. <laughs> Peggy, my sister, you should sometimes believe and listen to my visions. And I knew this was bound to happen. And why didn't you tell me in time? Why? Baby sis, I tried to tell you, but you couldn't listen. You think my visions are a joke. And this is not the first time he's doing this. You know what? I can't take this anymore. But don't worry, I can see a bright future ahead of you. And you know what? There is someone for everyone in this world. So cheer up, okay? Mama, gata ndi kato sidi sangwa masikini. Hata inachari. Wanji? Madam, aganyo wali ya magome. Mm. Tawa ni chena mugambi. Aganyo kari ya magome. Nyoko nga akura chena magombe. Akura yoti. Akura yoti. Nyoko akura chena magombe. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Why are you beating this lady to this extent? Can't you really spare her for one moment? Do you know what she has done? Do you? Do you know what she has done?
Oh, hello, sir. How may I help you? Yeah, I have a problem with my foot. I don't know if you can help me. Oh, sorry. Uh, there is a clinic there up. You can go get some help. I don't need a clinic. Just need an open shoe. I think I'll be all right. How much are they? For the key. Those are the only ones I have. See, it's your size. You said how much? 40k. Wow. Any problems, huh? Yeah, I forgot my wallet. Pardon me for wasting your time. It's okay. Excuse me, sir. You can take the shoes. You will pay when you get your wallet. How can you trust a stranger? What if I don't come back? The Almighty is watching you. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. This is my card. In case I don't come back, please remind me. I win. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. Have a good day too. Kakati gwe kantu gwe. Nchizu denti bange bwe wakutunako abura appetite. Itsoko la bikabubi. We no di kasi wufu. Hunya no kunya. Simanyo batona aba. Kakati chiri wechi. Sagala kudamu kulaba. Ngo sali mbida maso gaba wangi. Oshitege de. Kansu mbida mpu mbida. Nye madam. Echo kunyo li mbida mbida. Eee. Kubanga. Inze. Nke la kumacha. Ne naba. Mbwe malo kole minimu jange. Ne la naba. Ne chunga ngendo kwa waka. Ne la naba. Shut up. Wangi, what time can you go get down and try? Wangi, kaka tishidi wechiti, kantu gwe. Njaga lo kirenga kumacha. Oh, did I saw a kumina bili? O tegeke breakfast. O jiteke kutebo. Woma la, gende manju. We kweke. Saga la kudamu kula ba kongo sana imbira maso gaba wangi. O jaku vayonga agenzi. Vamaso. Toi te yui te de manju obo unida. Sis, tell me, did you meet him? Meet who? I don't play dumb. I mean he. Who is he? Talina Linya. Sister, I saw you meeting a special man in my vision. Oh, visions again. Sister, I already told you. Those are just illusions, not visions. Peggy, you can deny it all I care, but I know what I saw. You know what, sis? Now I'm very sure. Mm. All your visions are fake, fake, fake. I haven't met any of him. I know whom I saw. Okay. Don't tell me those are the shoes you went with at the office. Wait a moment. I've never seen them here. I bought them on the way to the office. My foot was paining a lot. Oh, sorry. I didn't know it was that serious. It's okay. I took some tablets. 
Did you see my wallet? Mm, yeah. You left it at the dining table. Okay, and where's my son? Ready right asleep. Honey, that's why I hate your job. It makes you look like a stranger to your son. By the time he wakes up, you are gone. And by the time you come back, he's already asleep. I understand. But really, it makes no sense for him to see me every time. Yet he doesn't have something to eat. All the same, you need to spare some time for him. Yeah, yeah. I'm tired. Let me get ready for supper. Sorry, because I feel sleepy. Where is he? Madam, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to Madam, Siman, Wangambi, we mala going to go to the house. I'm going Wazukse sa ameka. Zawa te te zina wala blonji kumi na bi. De te le chenchi a changi muti seng. Kala niya. Juliet. Wanje. Mkuwa de da chika antono nyongo chintu sizaku. A changer, much sing. A chammy sana, much sing. And I tell you, I'm a boss, and I'm a much more you are going to wait his own. Oh, hello. Hello. Forgive me for not coming the other day. I had a lot of engagements at work. Oh. How is your food? I am much better now. Better, much better. Here we go. Thank you so much, Gaston. I'll be thanking you. Thank you so, so much. You're such a faithful customer. I'd rather go to bed supperless than rise in a bed. Okay. Uh, can you please lend me your number? I... Don't give my number to strangers. I'm not a stranger. You trusted me with your money. Why not a mere phone number and you're a business person? You never know. People do a lot of crazy stuff on phones. Which crazy stuff? So many con men. You see, your number is already at the signpost. That is where con men get your numbers and they call you, pretend they know everything about you. But there is no name there. You know, at times they call knowing everything about you, plus your name. Peggy at gmail.com? Mm -hmm. Your name is already there. Come oh. on. Okay. Your yeah, phone. Ah, password. Peggy Karunde. Nice to meet you, Karunish. Nice to meet you too, Mr. Tamale. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Who was that? It's none of your business. By the way, 
Why are you to ask me such a question? So, is the reason why you not pick my calls? Unless common sense is not common. This is a business. I welcome tens of people. Do you expect me to introduce each and everyone to my ex-boyfriend? Ex-boyfriend? Who do you think you are? Please, I'm a busy lady. I'm going to leave. But I'm going to make sure that I find out who that Prince Charming of yours is. Stay warned. I don't care. Go. We are pants. I was checking on the number you gave me. Oh, this is your number. Yes, it is my number. What is your evening plan? Why would you want to know my evening plan? Calm down, lady. I was just asking if you're free. We go out and we have a little chat. As you're so fast. Anyway, I don't go out with strangers. You're not a stranger to me. You're such a dear and a caring friend. Allow me a chance to know more about you. Hello? Are you there? Hello? Please accept my humble request. Okay, if you insist. Thank you. What time and place? I'll text you later. Thank you. Goodbye. What's wrong with ladies? Every time a man asks them out, they think he's hitting on them. I can't believe you're taking a soda at this time of the day. Discipline? I drink on on weekends minus a Sunday. Why not on Sundays? <laughs> Because on Monday I have to go to work. Oh, you're right. You know, like these guys who bring their hangovers at work. Um, let's talk about you. Yeah. I'm Peggy. I live with my only sister. Uh, our parents are dead. I had a boyfriend, but we broke up a few days back. Sorry about your parents. Did you say you broke up with your boyfriend? Yes. Why are you surprised? I was just asking. <laughs> now I know you're like, why every guy you meet her the first time says, I broke up with my boyfriend, my boyfriend is out of the country, I'm seeing and not searching. I say that. <laughs> well, anyway, come to think about it. Why does it happen like that? Is it a way of you guys opening doors for new and potential partner? Not necessarily that. But I think it's out of making him feel comfortable with her. But not every single lady is searching. <laughs> you know, some are comfortable that way and they prefer keeping the status quo. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm Bobby. Uh, I'm married with a son. Surprised? No. Okay. My father is dead. Sorry. But God is still gracing my mother with life. At least I have that. I'm a businessman. I deal in second-hand households, mainly furniture and, and, and electronics. Second-hand, you say? Yeah. It's import them. No, 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 no. We buy here. Ha! <laughs> they must be too old. You know how people here, we use the things the extent of good for destruction. It used to happen like that because people didn't have a way of disposing of what they don't want. But once we started this, now people have a chance to sell off anything and then buy a new thing. But is it a paying job? To me, yeah. You know, in Uganda, not everyone can afford to buy a new thing. And some people want to dispose of what they don't want. That is where we come in. I started small with a space of about 
five square meters. But as we talk right now, I have three stores and each is about 500 square meters. Wow, such a strange business. Indeed. And now it's getting online. But we didn't come to talk about that. I personally came to ask if you can be my girlfriend. Hmm? Surprised? Just a friend who's a girl. You know I don't have any female friend. <laughs> I also don't have any male friend. I'm so like I got one. Really? Okay, my dear. Did you get home safely? Sweetheart? Hey. I'm trying to catch some sleep. Won't you sleep? And who is that when you're sweethearting so loudly? I'm not sweethearting anyone. And who is that? My friend. We met at my workplace. Your friend? I hear she. Ahi! Why? Mm, friend indeed. So I'm soon getting my in law. <laughs> Good night. Eva. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I was talking to my sister. Okay, have a good night too. Regards to the family. Okay, bye. about your man. He's not my man, he's my friend. Okay, whatever. Who is he? Okay. I will speak. He's a married man with a kid. Also told me about that he deals in used household materials. Yes. Okay. What else do you need to know? What kind of business is that? You know, I also asked him the same question, but when he explained, I realized that sometimes we need to think outside the box. He started something new and he's earning a fortune. Did you say he's married with a kid? Yes. Mm -mm. I don't believe you. Well, he might be married, but he doesn't have a kid. Says who? So now you know him better than me, yet you haven't even met? What other profit conditions do you have now? You know what? I saw everything before you even met him. And what I wanted was to confirm. You know what, sis? If you're saying this guy has no kid, then you're a false prophet. You know, I'm so tired of all these nonsensical visions. I'm off to work. Have a good day, Madam Prophet. How many times do I have to tell you? You're not welcome here. Do not just let me be. Nyabo, let me take this opportunity to announce to you the good news. Your Prince Charming is a married man with a kid. Don't ever say I didn't tell you. <laughs> Sebo, thank you so much for your outdated Ilugamba. I already know that. He told me. You cannot fall in love with a married man. Why not? It's not right for you. So, in my culture. It's not a crime for a man to have two women in our culture. You forgot your own words? It's not the kind of man you're supposed to be with. <laughs> He's too old. Oh, let me teach you. In love, men always look down. And as ladies, we look up. I thought so. Let me break it for you. We ladies go for men who are older than us. And you guys go for ladies who are much younger than you. So, age is out of place. Now. Hey. 
Hello. At work. Work without play makes Peggy dull girl. Just give me that game. The game today is to take you out for lunch. I'll play that one. Okay, I'll pick you lunch time. Honey? Are you going somewhere? Today is a Sunday. No work. Going to see friends? Mind if I come with you? No. It will be better if I go alone. So that's so-called Peggy of a woman is the reason why you leave my breakfast on the table. Pretty lady must be the reason why you do justice days. <laughs> You're welcome, lady. Thank you. The boy finally becomes a man. Nice to see you, madam, please. Nice to see you, too. Uh, can I have a hug, please? Eddie, it's me to grant that. It's just a hug. Sit down. Uh, yes, pretty. <coughs> Settle and place your order, please. I will settle the bills. Okay. Guys, this is Peggy. She's my girlfriend. Okay. Your girlfriend? Yes, a friend who's a girl. <laughs> Your friend is our friend. Your enemy. Our enemy. So? She's our girlfriend too? Uh, uh, Peggy, this is Eddie and Dennis, my friends and partners. Oh, nice meeting you, sir. Nice meeting you too, please. Nice meeting you. It's my pleasure. Excuse me. Stop acting weird. She's just a friend. <laughs> just a friend. Seriously, just a friend. A friend? <laughs> you see, guys always make such a mistake. Someone introduces his lover as a girlfriend. Next day, she's taken, starts crying. So, guy, better be sure of what you're telling us. Take my word. Take his word. <laughs> Sorry for that. Uh, Peggy is, is, is a business person. Okay. Uh, she deals in men's wear. Oh, and women is. And women. So we have to support her. Right. Just show us the direction. I will personally take you there. <laughs> uh, and I'll be delighted to see you. Stop humbling. Waiter! <laughs> Waiter. Gift? Yes, mommy. Go and freshen up, my dear. Okay, mommy. Now you. Didn't I tell you not to show up before calling me? My calls have been not going through. Yet, I wanted to make sure Gift gets home safe. Now you know he's home safe. OT! I'm sure Gift's father would be delighted to say hi to his in-law. Jack, I'm begging you, leave! Peggy, I want to talk to you. Please. Why will you stop following me? Eh? I already told you there is nothing going on between us anymore. Peggy, I know what I did was wrong. But I want you to know that you're the only woman in my heart. That guy is going to hurt your feelings. Oh, 
Will he hurt my feelings more than you did? A thousand, I'm sorry, I know they are not going to change anything. And they're not going to ease the pain in your heart. Now that you know, can I leave? I know I wronged you. But it make, it make me feel bad to see you going astray as a result of my misbehavior. What do you mean going astray? Dating a married man. Okay, a mistake is a mistake, but please, if you could only give me another chance, I swear I'm going to be a better man and I'll be very, very relieved. Jonah, the arrogance with which you handled this in its initial stage made me make a concrete decision. We're not meant to be. I'm not going to follow you again because I don't deserve a wonderful woman like you. But if you are to get someone else, please, Get someone who's not married because married men break hearts. You're right. Married men break hearts. But they also know how to mend broken hearts. Oh, have a visit. Yeah. Your face seems familiar. Have we met before? Ah, oh, he's Jack. He's my brother. He has brought gift back. Yes, I'm Jack. Moko Jack. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you. Thank you, sir. Where were you on our introduction day? Maybe my memory is getting weak. Is it why you seem familiar to my face? Uh, it must be. I'm sure that's where you saw him. Dear you, have let me know that we have an important feast. You know our culture. Unko, unko, unko. Yeah, oh. I understand. But never mind. He's in a hurry. Oh, my Naze. Let my in-law give me what I deserve. You see. But Jack. It was you who was here pestering me. Aren't you in a hurry? I was joking. Oh. Nice to meet you. Thank you, sir. Please come again. I will. Nice time. Thank you, sir. Okay. Now leave. Your phone, sister. Yes. Do you ever think of getting a job one day and quit this fortune telling thing? What do you want me to do? I've been searching for a job everywhere, but it's nowhere to be found. What do you want me to do? Search them from where? Sister, you're always home. Do you expect jobs to find you here? At least come help me at the shop. You never know. You can't get a chance one day. You know what, Peggy? I think you're right. You know what? You're here looking for a job. Someone out there is looking for an employee. You know, you have to make yourself available and associate with several people. Hmm? And you can't do that when you're home seated. Let me think about it. Please do. Madam, how may I help you? I think I should be the one to help you. It 
it's me who called you. Oh, it's you who called. No, the shoes you wanted, the bags, clothes, earrings are here. Hey. Hey. Do you think I can put on such rugs? Those are for cheap and useless people like you. Madam, I think you're talking to a wrong person. <laughs> wrong person, my fault. Katigwenya pig. If you don't know me, I am Robin Abobike's wife. I want this to be my last time to face a useless person like you. Okay? Stay away from my man. And find another place where you can fix those crooked legs of yours. And do not forget, you have a son. I think you know what it means. I think you're just mistaken. <laughs> I didn't like to give you a second visit. Sure, you're such a coward. Hey, I would have put her in the right place. <laughs> Come on, she was only warning me. I had no reason to fight her. She's only mistaken. We don't have to take it serious. Kakati na amoiti kamuteke mukasawa kaka mbuli na i. Hava sadi ba chaba bubi da batu. And you know what? She was also lecturing me about their kid, as if I don't know. Their kid? Mm -hmm. She should have said her kid, not theirs. And now what's wrong with you? Is he your son? I mean, you don't even know them. Why don't you just let the kid be? You know what, sis? I believe in my visions. I've seen that vision for over three times. That man has no child. <laughs> Maybe you're talking about two different men here. You will believe me one day. Is it true you went to someone's place and you lost her? <laughs> so she told you. Hmm. Slippery mouth. The way you treated her was not good. You'd first ask me the relationship between me and her. Relationship, my fault. Huh? You're not even afraid of telling me that? Oh, I can't see. Now you want to make your relationship official. You cannot be a moon and really get jealous of the stars. <laughs> so, she's the star? When I was young, I used to fight for the middle part of the bed. Yet we just turn it. Now you're talking parables. <laughs> Stupid woman, Aiza. One day you will sleep with a dog. Woman, let this be the last time you tell me such stuff. Or else... Or else what? Don't you dare threaten me. Oh, why don't you go stay with her if she's that special? Hey, and now you're going to her place? Okay. Hello. Didn't your mother teach you not to open your mouth unnecessarily? Who is this? Ask your mother, idiot. Listen. You're just a street dog. There is nothing you can give to my husband. He's just using you. Very soon he'll dump you. Stand warned. Madam, let me tell you something. The only woman who knows where his man sleeps every night is a widow. Whom are you? I'm talking to that Peggy. Now, listen, madam. Before you open that stinking mouth of yours, you first take that son of yours to his father. You very well know that it's not Bobby's. You're scared, huh? Don't worry. Your Kalito secret is still stuck with me. What's wrong with you? Now I know. I buried this in a fertile ground. It's now sprouting up. Sebo inetuli wasumule itali video. 
head to the package. Package. Yes, the package. Na ye, ebi alimu wa niwa dovi dizanyi ni vionga buchari. I'm lost. Wen on? He's in Kurabu. Is he mad or something? Whatever he's using, I don't want to know. Juliet Juliet Nganda bate mteke kate tulia chagulu Tuama za dokulia Tuama za dokulia Tuama za dokulia Madam nangamba Nti oja kujolide Nangi jina wa dendelese Nenje wangeza Mbwati wa gambi Yes. So, when you tell me, Mary, I'm from bed. Aunt Finaje, I'm going to the Nigerian Malam. Okay. Let's tell her how much you owe me. Kale, sir. Is it true you didn't keep food for me? Which food? Didn't Peggy prepare food for you? You always eat breakfast at her place. Let her prepare you supper too. Baby, what's wrong with you? Why do you always jump to conclusions? Today she's feeding you with food. Tomorrow she will be feeding you with lies. Do you think I'm stupid? Or blind? I don't even have time for this argument. Back to normal. Don't think it's going to solve anything. Just ignore her. Good enough we know what is the truth and one day she's going to realize it. I'm fed up. I'm tired of being insulted all the time. She calls me a street dog. That I'm a toilet paper I will dump one day. Peggy. And you are for the meantime. I'm going to talk to her and I'm sure she won't bother you again. What's wrong? Why do you call me all of a sudden? I want you to tell me the truth. Did you tell anyone about us? Are you insane? What are you trying to say? So, what you mean you didn't tell anyone about us? I don't understand what you are talking about. Let me hope what I'm thinking is not right. Robina, please, what's the problem? Madam, I don't think it's a good idea for you to come to my shop and insult me. Oh. 
Who gave you the right to talk while I'm talking? Hey, I just came here to make sure that a toilet paper is no longer following my husband like a fly on. Ugh. I do not even want to mention that word. Like I said, it would be better if you save yourself from being embarrassed. I mean, you're leaving me with no choice, woman. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that you chip thing. Show me what you've got, girl. Or else, you want to start trading your casaslo about my son? Hey, it seems you're playing hide and seek with her. You ugly dog. I want you to organize that dismantled board of yours and leave this place before I drag you out of here. I'm not talking to you, pig. Oh, okay. Let me just drag you out of here. Hey! Don't you dare touch me with your contaminated fingers. Now you, woman to woman. My husband is just using you. There is no way he can take a thing like you. Stand wonder. Hey, little woman. Your little secret is still safe. As long as you keep your mouth out of our business. Spaghetti legs. What is wrong with us? It's been two weeks you don't allow me to touch you. Mister, if you want to be with a woman, go to Peggy. You mean she's not woman enough to satisfy your desires? I told you she's my friend. So now you are denying her? Just because you want to sleep with me. <laughs> Sweetheart, your plan failed. Why are you pushing me? Is that what you want me to do? Was it me who pushed you in the first place? Huh? I'm even tired of this room. Over the number. Robin, the other time we talked, you didn't sound like yourself. Is there anything you are not telling me? Yes, there is something very big I'm not telling you because I don't want to. So don't ask me again. What's wrong? You are not the Rubina I used to know. <laughs> hey! Don't you ever touch me again. And even forget my son. I never want to hear your voice again. But where did I go wrong? Why is my husband seeing another woman? I give him everything a woman can give to her husband. If it's another baby, I have tried. But he seems not interested. However, to be safe on both sides, I have to make sure I give him another child. So that he forgets that devil of a woman. And in case anything happens to gift, at least he will be having a child to look at. Maybe. You're still awake. What is the problem? No, there is no problem. Just do not feel sleepy. Okay. If you say so. <clears throat> oh, 
come and go and sleep with her. If that's the way your wife wants it. You're right, man. That will teach her a lesson never to suspect silly things in life. She no longer welcomes me home. And when it gets to our marital affairs, we sleep in different worlds. <laughs> she sleeps in Nimbarara, I sleep in Kamuli. And what do you fear? She has already reacted to it before it even happened. What are you waiting for? Move on with Peggy. She cares about you. By the way, I had fallen in love with her. But you threatened to kill me if I go near her. Stop joking. Actually, I will kill you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's, she's a beautiful and attractive woman, but I respect my family. <laughs> How you wish you had no family. Bobby, I'm scared of your wife. I think you didn't explain to her very well. I explained to her everything, but she wouldn't understand. She can no longer trust me. Actually, I'm even afraid of returning home. I don't know what she can do next. on your shirt? There's something on your shirt. Don't touch it! It's behind your shirt. Don't touch it! It's a huge caterpillar. No. Remove your shirt. Hurry up! Hurry, hurry! No! <laughs> Got you! Ah. Peggy, two body zero. You almost killed me. You stupid <laughs> I want you to listen to what I have to say. You may take it as a joke, but really your actions are making me go crazy. It hurts me when I see you like that. You no longer welcome me home. And I also fear to return. You remember the day I had my foot? Do you? Do you know what she has done? Any problems, huh? Yeah, I forgot my wallet. Pardon me for wasting your time. It's okay. Excuse me, sir. You can take the shoes. You will pay when you get your wallet. That is when I met Peggy. So if you still think that I love her, then I don't know what to say. I made her my friend because she was nice to me in time of trouble. Honey, I'm so sorry for everything. Why didn't you tell me all that in time? I tried, but you didn't listen. Please forgive me. Mm. And you also don't look good. Can we go see a doctor? No, I'm okay. Just that I was wondering how I would have lived without you. Thank God we are back together. You are not taking him anywhere. Why don't you understand? You don't lose anything when I take him just to play together like a responsible parent. I've already told you, his father is coming back after lunch to take him for that. Just give him a call and stop him. Tell him I came over and took the boy. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. The boy asked his father 
to take him for ice cream. Whom am I to stop them? I can also afford ice cream. Are you ready to prepare the boy or you want me to beat myself? Don't try me. Jack, don't. Don't try me. Muganda, you saw me in the same way. You know, Musa Jangamba need to be stayed here. The bank that you were in, but you Gamba, Gamba Muganda we told you yes, we will be here. I have been busy in India. Musa Joe, you are not going to see. Nah. Here we go. No one will hear you. Sure. Actually, when I phoned him, I just said, "You know, I'm demand. I drove off." Zi no kumurundi gumi yaba demu nyivu ulala. Ira na gama chwe chipa angevi gambo biga. Again, after the cabinet. Yes. I think now you are very happy. Yes, uncle. Okay, that's all I wanted. Go to your room and rest, okay? Okay, yeah, I love you. What are you trying to prove? What have I done wrong? Are you trying to expose us? Do you want my husband to start suspecting things? Suspecting what? That he's the one who Hey! Jack, you never know what's hidden behind those walls. I have the right to stay near my son. And I have all the rights to take him wherever Jack. I want. Keep your voice down. I don't want my son to hear such noises. Call it nonsense. Yeah. That boy also has a right to know his true father. And I'm tired of all this. And each time I meet your husband, I feel ashamed. Jack, oh. stop. Poor man. He is being fooled. I think I should look for this man. The sooner, the better. You know what, Robina? I no longer want to keep people in darkness. I'm going to stay here, wait for your husband, and tell him face to face that the gift is my biological son. Jack, you don't need to tell me anything. You don't have heard all I need to hear. This is the package you've been claiming. Get out of my house. I said, get out of that house. Get out. Man, you don't need to drag me. I live on my own. I said, go. And hey, very soon I'll be coming to pick my son. What are you still doing here? Follow your man. Darling, please. Have mercy on me. You're the only man I love. Don't dare die me! In my house! Those things are satanic. They are evil. We can just take our son to the church, get baptized, and that's all. That is where we go wrong. Everything African being certain can ever, there are five common African initiation rites. Birth, adulthood, marriage, eldership and ancestorship. All we need right now is a right of birth. It is really overdue. Right of birth? But it's so long since Gift was born. Have you been wondering why he doesn't have a name? Because Gift is never a name. It is the elders who name a kid after consultation of the diviners, perform all the rites, and now they give him a special name. He's given a name that carries hidden and obvious meaning. And these are the rites follow. But you are taking us back to the stone edge. That is why you resented the initiation rite, claiming you so holy. Are you holy? Are you holy? It's not what you think. Please give me a 
just to explain. There is nothing you have to explain. I've seen, I've heard with my ears. Baby, please forgive me. Remember you said you never want to see me hurt. Look, I'm hurt. You deserve everything that is happening to you. And if necessary, I would just close my eyes and I let you cry as much as you want. Okay, Bobby. I know you can never be able to forgive me. But please, before you throw me out, listen to what I'm going to say. You have one minute. He's not my brother. He was my boyfriend. I was pregnant and he wanted to marry me. That's when your parents came in and asked for my hand in marriage. couldn't send no to your proposal because you guys were rich <laughs> and they didn't know that I was pregnant you see you never loved me you loved my wealth <laughs> you're right at first yes <laughs> but I learned to love you and I forgot all about Jack Baby, you're the love of my life. You're my true love. And I'm so sorry. I never got the guts of telling you the truth about gift. Are you done? And my son is staying here. You're not taking him anywhere. It's true. You're not his biological father. But he will always be your son. It's okay. You can stay with him. Yes. I'm listening. I have 
have no problem with that. You can go and meet her. But how did you know about all this? Uh, her sister is my friend. She told me about all her sister's secrets. I knew Bobby even before you showed me his pics. I just said yes because I wanted you to believe in my vision dreams. So you conned me? Whatever. I knew it! I knew this vision thing was all a game. You conned your own sister! You what? You conned me. You didn't have to chase her away. We are human beings. We do mistakes. What kind of mistakes are you talking about? Any mistake, I guess. That woman never loved me. She was after my wealth. I loved her and that is how much she paid me. I hate her as much as I loved her. Please, calm down. Don't tell me to calm down, Peggy. After all she did to me, I cast the day our parents met. Yes, the one who got her from me. But you end up falling in love with her. Oh, please, loosen up. Forgive her. Why are you bleeding for her? After all she did to you? I thought she's your enemy. You know, people make mistakes in life. But that doesn't mean they have to pay for them for the rest of their life. Sometimes good people make bad choices. It doesn't mean they're bad. It means they are human. Okay, tell me. Are you all clean? Yes. <laughs> Are you? You never offended anyone in your life. Hmm? You mean they never forgave you? You know what? If you still need me around, we'll have to change the topic. Okay. That is what you want. You know, there's something on your coat. It's I've been seeing. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the <laughs> oldest tricks in the books. <laughs> anyway, it's good to see you smiling again. Um, there's something I want to show you. But I want you to close your eyes. And I trust you? Of course you can trust me. Close. Okay. And no cheating. Okay. I'm going to count from ten. You open when I get to zero. Okay, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, zero. <laughs> What is she doing here? Uh, Bobby. Bobby, please. Forgive this helpless woman who can't live without your love. Bobby. Oh, please. Give her a chance to explain, please. How did you become friends? Uh, it's a long story. I'm going to explain everything. Please. One minute. Thank you. I'm so happy to see you here. I know you have a lot of questions in your head. I will answer all of them. And please, I'm so sorry for every bad word I told you. Please forgive me. Why would you do such a thing to a man that loved you so much? <laughs> Woman, you're a monster, you know that? It's okay. You can call me anything you want. I deserve it all. But please, I need your help. I love Bobby so much. 
I want you to help me make him understand that I didn't mean to hurt him. <laughs> but if you loved him that much, why did you hide the pregnancy from him? Do you even think your son can never forgive you? I know, and I'm ready to put everything right. But you've been sleeping with that huh? Jack guy behind his back. I swear to my mother's grave, I cut all relationship ties with Jack after I got married to Bobek. That's all. What if he forgives you? What are you going to do about Jack and his son? Peggy. Jack is just a lousy, jobless fellow. I can't trust him with my son. All he wanted is to let everyone know that he's the dad of the kid. That's all. He will let me stay with my kid. And Bobby could always be the father of my kid. How is your son going to cope up with all this mess? Peg, what was done was done. He will learn to live with it. <laughs> please, Peggy, please, please, you don't have to need before me, okay? But we'll see what you. we'll do about it, okay? It's okay, everything will be okay. This is all bullshit, I'm out of here. Bobby, as I told you, no one is perfect in life. Look at your wife. She's sorry, and she loves you. Then why did she keep such a thing away from me? I loved her the very first time I saw her. Before I even married her. The pregnancy could not be the reason for me to leave her. She should have told me. I'm so broken. <laughs> Mommy, I was so scared. My father would have killed me if he found out. <laughs> and I didn't want to hurt my mother's sick heart also. <laughs> because she wanted to see me married before she joins her ancestors. <laughs> and I thought <laughs> telling you would ruin everything. Ruby, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm really so sorry. Bobby. Mahat Magan says that we can never forgive. Forgiveness is the attribute for a strong. And I've already seen a strong character in you. Oh, please, forgive your wife. She's on her knees, begging. She's sorry. Now, Bobby, Gifty needs a mother. Please. I know you can do it. You're not weak. Bobby, please, forgive her. Come. <laughs>